Welcome to Airtronics TV. I'm Craig Kaplan, Product Manager of Airtronics, and today we're going to talk about the multi-class, national winning M12 radio. We're going to talk about the ergonomics of the Airtronics M12 radio. There are many options and features of the Airtronics M12 that allow you to customize the radio to your own liking and driving style. The two major elements of ergonomics are physical and electronic. One of the nice physical features about the Artronics M12 is the large LCD screen which has a lot of information on it. There are three main screens for the LCD. The status screen, which is a main screen which shows all of your system functions and modulation. There is an assigned screen which shows what all the trims and switches are assigned for. And there's also a telemetry screen. Should you choose to set up telemetry with your M12 radio, it will show you the receiver voltage, temperature, and RPM or speed of your vehicle. One of the great things about the M12 is that it can be used for left or right-handed individuals. It comes stock out of the box for a right-handed person. However, if you're left-handed or prefer to steer with your left hand, it's very easy to adjust it over. There's a few screws on the bottom that you take off, as well as some screws on the side here and just one on top. With a total of five screws to remove, you can completely turn it around. An important part of a radio is how it feels in your hand. With the two extra grips that come with the Airtronics M12 radio system, you can customize it to your own liking. A medium grip comes stock on it, but a small grip or a large grip also come as standard equipment. It's very easy to change and only takes a couple of minutes. Along with grip size, steering wheel size is also an important feature that should include the ergonomics of a radio. With the M12, not only is a standard wheel available with it, but there's a slightly larger wheel with it as well for your own preference and feel. Very easy to change. All you need is a seven millimeter wrench. Just unscrew it, take off the foam, and apply it to the new wheel. There are more adjustments with the M12, which include spring adjustments or spring tension adjustments. These adjustments can be found by the throttle for tightening the tension or loosening the tension on the throttle trigger, as well as for the steering. All you need is a 1.5 millimeter wrench to adjust these, either for the steering, to loosen or tighten, as well as for the throttle. One other neat thing about the M12 is that it also includes other adjustment springs for different tensions. By simply removing the steering wheel, you can access the plate that is required to change the steering spring to a stiffer or softer feel, right behind this access plate. Just by using a small Phillips screwdriver, you loosen the screw and you'll see the adjustment. Once the screw is removed, you can easily remove that panel with your fingernail and see the spring inside. This spring that comes with the M12 already installed is a medium tension spring. The spring itself can be loosened or tightened for your preference. However, if those adjustments are not to your liking, included with the M12 is a very soft spring or a very hard spring just for your preference. Very easy to install and reapply with a pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Everybody has a different feel for a radio and where the trigger is placed on the radio is an extreme important feature for any radio that you use. The M12 radio allows you to offset your trigger either away from your fingertip or closer down onto your finger with the use of a trigger offset. There's two different additional offsets that are offered with the radio to help you customize that field just for you. With the steering wheel off, now is a good time to consider whether you want to add the drop down that is included with the M12 radio system or not. Some racers prefer to have a drop down of the steering wheel in the same line as your throttle. The drop down that is included with the M12 enables you to do that and it's very easy to adjust and change. With a Phillips screwdriver, you just remove these three screws to remove this little access panel here. With the three screws removed from the steering wheel assembly, carefully pull it away from the radio system and you'll see that it's attached to the circuit board with these connectors and wires. Simply pull them away from the PC board and unplug them. With the steering wheel assembly already unplugged from the PC board, Pull out the wires as far as possible, which will enable you to work on the radio a little more easily. You'll see on the back of the drop down, there are little indents in it which key into the radio itself. Simply pull the wires through the drop down and line up the drop down with the radio. 
When putting on the drop down, you might also want to consider adding an angle adjust for your preference. Some people like to have a straight drop down, some people like to have a slight angle adjustment. On the angle adjustments, these also have little indents which key into the drop down itself. With screws that are supplied with the radio system, it's a good idea to attach the angle adjust to the drop down before attaching the wheel assembly. That way it doesn't get out of place or misaligned. You're going to reattach the plugs back onto the ones that come out of the PC board. With the wire secured inside and the angle plate on and the screws all tightened up, you can put the wheel back on the radio and then at that point you can get an idea as to how much angle there really is on the M12, making it really comfortable for a lot of people that decide to put on the angle adjust. It's a more natural feel, a more relaxed fit, and for some that hold the radio in a different manner, you can actually use the left-sided angle adjust, angle it this way. Some people choose that way, other people prefer this method. Either way, there's tons of things that you can add to the M12 that come with the radio to allow you to get that perfect, comfortable fit. Now that we've covered all of the major physical ergonomics of the Airtronics M12, now it's time to talk about some of the electronic ergonomics of the radio. By now, you've probably familiarized yourself with the radio being the fastest radio ever made on the market today. The latency on the Airtronics M12 is 0.95 milliseconds, which makes it under one millisecond latency time faster than anything previously made. However, for some people, that may be a little bit too fast. With the Airtronics M12, you can turn it down to slow down the latency to get a more comfortable feel. That way you're not too twitchy or turning in too fast, basically making the radio a little bit more comfortable for you to use in the beginning, and then you can advance the features later on as you use it. In order to adjust the latency in the Airtronics M12, simply go to the Setup menu, to the subfolder of Feeling, enter that menu again, click down on the steering if that's the latency you want to slow down, as you're able to adjust the latency on either the steering or the throttle channel, and you can simply lower it down to a more comfortable feel. If you decide that we want to make it even slower, or zero is not quite slow enough, you can continue slowing it down into an F mode, which is the slowest at F5. Another great electronic ergonomic feature of the Airtronics M12 is the ability to control the servo speed. You can speed it up or slow it down for your own liking, making the servo just perfect for you. The Airtronics M12 servo speed function is more adjustable than most radios on the market. Since it is more of a racing type feature, simply go to the racing menu on the main screen, access it, go to speed, enter again, and at this point you can adjust not only the servo speed of the steering, but also the throttle, your auxiliary one channel, and your auxiliary two channel. Once you select what channel you want to adjust, you can adjust the forward movement of the car, or you can also adjust the return back to neutral. You can also adjust at what point the mixing starts. The other neat feature about this is the in and out feature. Say for instance you program your point to be at 50%. You can adjust it to where you start your 50% from 0 to 50, or you can adjust it where you have outside from 50 to 100 with the out feature. With all of the ergonomic features that we discussed earlier, you'll understand why that this radio, being the fastest radio ever made, along with its hundreds of features internally, make it the radio to get. Check with your local dealer or check with Airtronics.net to get your Airtronics M12 and get the advantage.